Hello, hello. I'm Chris, and welcome back to more Satisfactory. So last time we got our space elevator, most importantly, and we set up some uh, little more complex spaghetti factory. Uh, and that's working on our smart plating so we can feed it into the space elevator and unlock our next tier. Uh, this time I want to do a little, little less. Um, I basically just want to get some Caterium and Quartz research done. Uh, speaking of research, our MAM is finished. So we have a Caterium node here somewhere. we access this one? Yeah. Looks like it. Well, that guy's, uh... Flying away. We're over here where I can hit you. Oh, he's back. Ow. Ow. Okay. So now that those guys are dealt with. Clear up some space. And then I don't think I need... Um... Oh my god. Ah! Pressing all the buttons. Uh, I don't think I need more than one node for now. So that's just what I'm gonna use normal node. So let's stick our miner on there. Should have started with a foundation, but that's okay. Oh my god, I always press the wrong buttons. Okay. Get those set up. We need a splitter. This is a normal node, so it's only producing 60 uh, per minute. So we only need two smelters for that. Once I can get up here. Smelter. Face it the right direction. Keep it in line. Why do these textures look so horrible? I don't know. I haven't changed my settings, but sometimes the texture, they, they just do that. You get full-on N64 mode going. Let's see, so... We look at our constructor real quick. We need... Well, we don't have it unlocked yet, so we're just going to start with the smelters. And... We're going to need power... So I'm going to have to wire that from the base. I'm just going to stick. Not there. On the grid, please. Thank you. Okay. I don't even have Caterium unlocked yet. Uh, so I'm going to place these down. You start the game with these, but I almost never use them. They're just little portable miners. They'll mine up a stack of resources and then turn off. Completely manual. You, uh, you can't empty them out aside from doing it yourself. But I'll be back when I have some resources and what I want unlocked in the MAM. Alrighty, so back at the MAM, and we have an unlock here. So this is the, uh, for the hard drive. I'm going to select screws. Because that's going to make, um, some factories a lot simpler. 
Then we have to unlock our Caterium. And then I'm just going to, instead of walking all the way back, grab a couple smelters. Plug them in. And I'll let those guys go until they're finished. All right, we got that done. Back to Katerium, and we're going to research Quickwire. That's all we need for that. So, back to the Katerium mine. Alrighty, back here. I'm gonna set these to both do Katerium, and we're gonna underclock these just a little bit. So that they only need 30 per minute instead of 45. And then let's take a look at our constructor. For quick wire, we need how much? 12 per minute. Um, 10 and 10. I'm just going to take the easy no brain route. One for one and just underclock the constructors. Quick wire. Quick wire. And then I'm bad at math, so let's uh, let's play with this. So is it 80% I want? 82. Three. Uh, we'll go with 84% on these. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get to 10. And then... These I will merge... And these are going to go into a storage container. And those need to be Mark II there. So let's plug these guys in. And we should get quick wire coming out. Yeah, there we go. So it's making, each one is making about 50 per minute, which is almost enough to saturate the belts, which is why we need the uh, additional, uh, the Mark II belt there. So while we're waiting on that Caterium, why don't we check on our smart plating and see our progress toward our space elevator? 47, that's gonna be done real soon. We only need 50. I'm gonna grab this, and no spare rotors yet? Oh, right, right, because it's going slow because we don't have enough screws. Uh, I know there's a lot of screws in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stack. And I'm going to upgrade this belt just to feed it with what we have a little faster. So it'll provide enough for a little bit until we run out of our buffer here. While we're waiting on stuff, I'm going to unlock in Alien Organisms our inflated pocket dimension. So that's just extra inventory space. Pocket dimension has been inflated. 
your pocket dimension is your inventory and your tool belt is how many uh, tools you can have equipped at any one time. Now our smart plating should be done. It looks done. It is done. I'm going to turn this into standby because I don't want it to produce any more at the moment. And we're going to go to our space elevator and drop this off. Now all you got to do is interact with it anywhere. Load up your items. Pull the lever. And then pull it again. And then you get everyone's second favorite animation. And there it goes. So now we can check off phase one. So we've done that. And let's go see what that unlocked for us. So with space elevator done, we have access to tier three and four. Uh, tier three is what we're going to do in the next episode. I want to get coal power. That'll make... Uh, It'll make managing bigger factories much easier because it'll be a way for us to automate the power without having to um, micromanage it. All right, so we got some quick wire for our uh, Katerium research. I'm just going to drop that in there. That unlocks more of the tree. And I'm also going to unlock this, the zip line. Even though I don't really plan to use it. Uh, power pole mark two. I want that. And then the rest of the stuff is going to have to wait. Unlocked. So we got uh, mark two power. And if you compare it to a regular power pole, the regular one only has four connections. Mark two has seven. That makes it much easier to uh, keep your factories clean without cables running everywhere, and I will reconfigure everything with that in mind. But for now, I'm going to mark Katerium Research off of the list, and we're going to start with Quartz Research. And I know we have some Quartz, not too far, just right down there. I'm just going to build a ramp down there. Because I don't want to walk all the way around every time. That is just annoying. So here we have quartz. Um, can I build a mam here? I can. Let's see. What do we need for quartz? And your, your mam research is universal. It doesn't matter which station you use. So I need 20 quartz to unlock that. So that's very simple. Not even going to bother getting out of mine or anything. I'm just going to hit it with a stick. So I can turn that in. And then... Alright, and I'm going to get a... Get our miner. Uh, but let's see. Splitter. And this is... A pure node, so we're gonna have 120 per minute. And then I don't believe. No, we don't need to smelt it. So, how much does that take? 37 and a half? That's 22 and a half. So, what does that equal up to? That's an even 60. Okay. I figured. I'm just bad at math. So this is going to split into two. Put that right up against there. And this one will be right there. And then we need our constructors. And this is not super efficient. 
It's gonna start off kind of um one's gonna have too many resources, one's gonna have not enough. But they will balance out. Since it's not gonna be balanced anyway. It's gonna do that. And how many do these produce? 22 and 37. Okay. Quartz is weird. It's got weird ratios. So these two can merge them this way. These two merge them this way. That's not what I want. I want it straight. So then they're both going to meet in the middle. Uh, where's my middle? That's my middle. This one's going to have to be a Mark II. Okay. Now that's good. Uh, so... Need power. So I'm just going to do... One Mark II. And that is so much easier. And we can just go back. Now we got that working. Hopefully this reaches all the way up here, though. Bump, bump, bump. gonna replace that with a mark two plug it in oh and i should make sure we can actually power this uh yeah we can okay we're good so if we grab our mam again real quick while this is doing its thing uh special mam okay we look at our quartz want to Unlock this, this, and this. Let me see if I have enough for... I do. Okay, so I'm going to make some of these while I wait on the quartz. And then I should have all the plates I need for, for the other unlock. So let's see, we need... Uh, yeah, for that we need 150. Do we have 50 of that yet? Probably not. Oh, we do. Wow. Nice. Let's unlock that. And then we need 200 for more inventory. And actually, under alien organisms, we killed some spitters, so we can research that as well while we're here. And then under quartz... Uh, I want the crystal oscillator. And then the pocket dimension. I think the rest of the stuff is... Just out of our range of what we can make. So with the power dying, I think that's a sign that uh, this episode is over. So if you like the video, hit me with that thumbs up. You got some feedback, leave a comment for me. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. But thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Take care. We do have some local wildlife to take care of, though. I hear one over here somewhere. There he is. There's another one over there.